Next question is from Jalen S4. I am doing three full body workouts per week and looking to develop larger lats. What three exercises would you recommend to best hit them in each workout? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, a, a while ago, um, I, I've always had a relatively strong uh, back. Mm. I could row a lot. Um, I could deadlift a lot. I never skimped on back workouts, even from the early days of working out. Loved it. Always did. But I, I always focused more, and I know why this, this happened. I was influenced by the, the reigning Mr. Olympia at the time, which was Dorian Yates. I focused much more on rows uh, for my back exercises than I did for you know with pull-ups or pull-downs. Mm -hmm. So I did lots of rows. Dorian Yates, for those of you who don't know, was uh, just the first mass monster in bodybuilding. And one of his exercises that would always get you know put in the magazines was his supinated grip barbell row and then he liked to do a hammer strength uh, iso row right and so he did lots of rows so that's what i did and i remember as a 20 something year old i'd gotten real lean went to golds and there was this uh, female competitor that was there that every once in a while i talked to and kind of like your story adam i asked her to to break my physique down and she said and i always thought my back was a strength I'm like oh yeah my back is total strength in my body and she goes, you've got good depth to your back. She's got, you've got really weak lats. You need better lats, which like hit me right in my heart, right? So I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to get good at pull-ups. My lats responded so well to doing frequent, frequent pull-ups. I can't think of a better exercise that develops the lats, the wings oh, yeah. of the back like pull-ups. Yeah, the There's wide, nothing like them. wide grip especially. And, All uh, grips. And weighted. Right? Oh, yeah. and, and not being afraid of Just doing singles, that, doubles, and triples on that. Treat that was, like a strength exercise. That was a big difference for me because I did pull-ups for a long time, but I was all, it was always, you know, how many can I get to? Yeah. Like I was always trying to progress 10 pull-ups, then 15, then 20, and then I think, I think I got up towards my peak when I was doing like 30 pull-ups like before a workout. That was a big deal to me when when I saw the biggest change in my lats from pull ups was when I stopped trying to chase how many reps I could do. And I started seeing how much weight I could pull. And I started doing singles, doubles and triples of, of pull ups. That is what really helped my lats. Excellent. The other thing that blew my lats up was snatch grip deadlifts. Oh, yeah. yeah that's I, I was going to bring that up. That's why we're talking about the wide grip with pull-ups and then wide grip with the, the deadlifts I were huge. I love that. First of all, and, and this is this goes back, I don't know, maybe six months or so ago when we were kind of having this debate back and forth uh, that, you know, there's this idea that uh, uh, deadlifts are not a back exercise. You know, there's I know there was some fitness people that were posting stuff. Uh, around that it's not a back exercise it's a it's a leg exercise oh hamstring and glute more than anything else stupid. and it's it's totally stupid because the amount that you can load on a deadlift there's just show me what other exercise that you can load load that much weight and even if the back is in a isometric position the amount of stimulus that you get from that much load on the back just blows the back up because mm -hmm. your back is not used to doing that. If you've yeah. never if you've never deadlifted two, three, four hundred pounds before and you put that on the bar and you deadlift, your back is going to blow up. Just mm -hmm. like mine did. And it was something that I neglected for many years. And I did all the pull ups, the lap pull downs, the rows, everything you're saying. The biggest change I saw on my back was purely getting into deadlifting more. Mm -hmm. And then when I got into variations of the deadlift, like the snatch grip, was when it took it to a whole nother level. Yeah, another good exercise for the lats um, that I would sometimes use at the beginning of my workout just to get me connected to my lats so I could start to feel them in all my back exercises uh, was a dumbbell pullover. Uh, dumbbell pullover mm -hmm. is a lat uh, isolation exercise, so it's not a great mass builder. But if you do it at the beginning of your workout, get a nice pump and feel and connection to your lats, get a good stretch. Then when you go do your other back exercises, it's easier to connect. Now you can start to feel the lats and what they're doing. And you may find that you'll develop or, or connect your lats more on all your back exercises. Yeah, I liked one, too, that uh, not a lot of people think to do, which is uh, as you're doing a single arm lat pull down to add rotation to that. Oh, yeah. uh, and that's just something that uh, me doing, uh, you know, a shoulder press, it, it emulates that, but in reverse. But now we're getting a totally different stimulus to your lats.